Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Now, I'm continuing this episode exactly where we left off. We awaken Haru's Persona. We are in Okumura's Palace. We got to steal that mofo's heart. I'm going to do more social links and explore the palace in this episode. But I just want to see what this is all about because this looks straight out of Star Wars. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because here comes more Persona 5. What's up, baby? Okay, let's see what we got over here. Got these little robot dudes in the thing that looks like giant pool. Okay, cool. I got you. Get this dude. Bam. And the muddy dude is weak against whatever Haru has. So, can I pass it to her? No, I can't. Okay. Pass it to Z. Okay. My main man Z. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes, Sayo. Yes, baby. Take that shit. All right. All out attack. I ain't trying to get these personas. I'm just trying to whoop some ass. I gotta level up as much as possible. I'm only level 36, so I think I'm pretty under-leveled for whatever boss this is gonna be. This dude was, like, in an astronaut suit, and he had, like, his future son-in-law. We have to steal his heart before Haru has to marry this dude. We definitely don't want that to happen. It won't open. Will we need Noir's help once again? No, this one isn't a biometric authentication, but it might be hard to open it from here. We'll probably need to look for a server or a terminal if we want to break through. A server, huh? A server. I did not see a server at all. See this, though? Ooh. Let me climb in through you. Let me slither on through, baby. What we got over here? Oh, hello. Surprise, bitch. Mm. Okay, let me take you guys through this palace. No, just jump cutting through the palace. I'm going to show you guys how I whoop that booty. I do a little bit of this. And then we do a baton pass to my main man Z again. And then we do a little Sayo for that ass. And let me see if I can get one of these guys as a persona. No more all out attacks. Let's have a little conversation. Lend me your power. Then let's talk. I can't just lend my power to some Joe Schmo. Um, where are you going for me? Ain't there worse people out there? What kind of guys piss you off? Slow walkers, loud talkers, nobody. Loud talkers, for sure. Better that than a quiet talker. I always gotta ask them to repeat what they just said to me. Ah, I'm starving. Hey, is this like one of those interrogations on TV? They always give the guy a katsudon. You got anything like that for me? Katsudon, coming right up. How about sushi? I have nothing for you. Katsudon, coming right up, baby. Uh-huh, you're saying that now, but you probably go back on that shit later. Huh? That means we're the same. Hey, now I remember. Yes, I am thou, thou art I. Give your persona to me. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting better at this negotiation stuff. Cool. We don't get that much XP when we negotiate as opposed to whooping that ass. But it's okay. I have the same personas since the last boss. And I'm getting kind of tired of those guys. I need some new guys. I need some new friends here. Okay, where are we going to go? I'm assuming I gotta make my way to that little door right there. So let's do that right now. Is this a terminal? Could this place be a server room? No. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, I'm watching. I'm looking. All right. That should have opened up a bunch of doors. I managed to grab a map of the place too. That's incredible. This means our infiltration deeper into the palace should be easier, yes? I don't know about that. There are three more areas ahead. The barracks, the factory, and the airlock area. That sounds like a lot. Wait. Yeah, and what are they making in that factory? Burgers? I... Actually, I found one other interesting file when I was cracking into the system. It's called Project Escape to Utopia. There was some kind of blueprint inside, too. It looks like whatever they're making for it is ginormous. That factory can't just be for burgers. Is... Escape to Utopia? What do you think that's supposed to mean? It ain't gonna matter if we can steal the treasure and make this palace disappear. Let's hurry! Yeah, no more talking. You guys talk way too much. Can we go over here? Yes, we can. Maybe we can find some secrets. I highly doubt it, but you never know, guys. Look at this. I actually think I did find a secret. Nope. Yes? No? Maybe so? No. We're back where we were. Authenticating. Come on, baby. Give me that access. Denied? Huh? Who the fuck is you? Ugh, it still ain't opening even after all of Oracle's tinkering. This bastard really doesn't trust anybody, huh? Skull. Um. It's all right. Father is clearly guilty of some horrible crimes. That's why we will stop him. 
We'll still need to think of a way to get past here, though. Can you figure something out, Oracle? Hmm. If it's not a normal lock or a biometric one, I think it might call for rank authentication. Basically, you have to be at least a chief director to get through here. Chief director? So even the robot employees have positions and ranks. What are we supposed to do about this? Let's steal someone's ID. Let's bring someone here. I think, you know, a phantom thief has got to steal something, right? Perhaps oh, you mean an employee ID? Those are used to authorize entry in the real world company as well. You two are so smart. That's got to be it. Then it's decided. <laughs> Let's find an employee that's the rank of a chief director or higher and take their employee ID. All right. That's what the phantom thieves do. We don't just steal hearts. We steal employee IDs. Here we go. Those look like some employees. Come on, man. Look, there's a ton of them. You want to start taking their IDs? Not yet. If we go instead to their origin, there should be even more employees for us. Yeah. Oh, great idea. That should make it even easier to find a chief director. Let's head there, Joker. Okay, where did these guys go? And why were they walking like they had a bunch of sticks up their ass? Open sesame! Huh? It's not opening. It got locked again. Regardless, there must be more employees on the floor those robots came from. Let's use the elevator and head there. Oh, yeah. Now we can take the elevator. All right, let's do this. Let's get an employee ID. Hey. So how are we going to go looking for this chief director thing? I did a scan of the area, but there are multiple large readings around here. They're definitely different from normal robots, so it's probably one of them. Um. So we'll need to find which one is the real one, but how exactly will we do that? Joker. Joker, look. It's them. Where? Show me. All oh, those guys. The stick walking up ass guys. What's up with that room? There are tons of them in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> perfect timing. Let's try asking them about this director guy. That would be a foolish move. They'd report us immediately if they spotted us. You're Fox right. is right. We'll need to think of a way to glean info from them without asking. So we gotta do a little sneaky sneaky. There's a shadow. I'm always a fan of the sneaky sneaky. Stealthily obtain intel. Say no more, fam. Let's do this. So do we just get close to them? The chief clerk has it easy. He just what? I can't understand what you're saying. It goes by so freaking fast. The job just never ends. Okay, that's not useful information. The chief clerk has it easy. He just gets to sit around munching what? Munching what? Munching ass? Munching sweets all day. Okay, so you know if the letters aren't red. That's muy importante. So we just gotta find out if there's anything else in red. Okay, that's not important. We've heard a good amount. What do you think, Joker? I'd like to listen a little bit more. Just a little bit closely. I wonder how the chief clerk got that position. Okay, so chief clerk and what? Sweets. Chief clerk and sweets? Is that it? Are there any more dudes? We have a pretty good amount of info, like about the sweets. But that's on the chief clerk, yeah? We're looking for dirt on the chief director, remember? We don't have to target that director guy right away, though. We can go from the bottom up. Now that you mention it, I doubt we could reach the chief director immediately regardless. We don't have any employee IDs, so accessing the more secure areas would be impossible. You got it. Well, for now, let's just identify the chief clerk with the info we have. And if there are any more rooms that you think we can get info from, be sure to stop in. Hold up. What the shit? There are two of the same robot? Didn't I tell you I was getting multiple signals? Moving on. We saw one of those red ones giving instructions to the smaller robots, right? Does that mean that one of them is the chief director or just the chief clerk? Hmm. Should we defeat them both and take their employee ID to find out? There's no need to waste our energy like that. If we can talk to each one and compare what they say to the intel we have on hand, we might be able to tell what rank they are. Okay, so we know that they like sweets. That's it. They like that sweet ass. Are you ready? You need to hold a conversation and get info without making them suspicious of us. If they find out who we are, we'll be forced to fight. Be cautious. Oh, I'm ready. I am so ready for this. Who are all of you? And what's with that odd attire? We're the Phantom Thieves. Eh. We're salesmen. We're employees. I think salesman is the most believable one. 
So you're a peddler. It won't be easy convincing me to buy anything, I promise you that. Now then, what profit would buying your product bring me? Have you brought gifts? We have sweets. Ah, I like the way you played that, Z. What a boring gift. When I said profit, I was specifically talking about something more valuable. It is time we make our decision, Joker. What do you want to do? Should we fight him for his employee ID? No, this guy is not it. it. So you don't want to fight right now? Then let's retreat. Huh, I'm thinking we can tell whether they're the target if we can squeeze some info out of them. That's right, we might be able to avoid unnecessary battles if we cross-reference that information. All right, let's question this guy. Who are you? I don't recall making plans for visitors. We're salesmen. Is that so? You must be hard workers if you've come to sell without an appointment. I'll gladly listen to what you have to say. Now then, did you bring any gifts for me? We have sweets. Ah, oh, you are quite in the know. I am a connoisseur of all things sweet. I can't help but chow down on them when I'm stressed. Joker. It's time we make our decision. Let's whoop that monkey ass, baby. This guy definitely has what we need. Let's go with Mafray. I love this move. I just like the way it looks. Oh, he's weak against that. Awesome. The little minions aren't, so let's see what we can do. Okay. Come on, Z. Let's go. Garu? Okay, um, hold on. I have Magaru somewhere. Forgot who knows it. There you go, this guy. This little teardrop guy. Boom! Okay, all out attack. Come on, one hitter quitter. One hitter quitter. Make this an easy battle. Yes! Yes! Oh, that was so easy. Chief Clerk ID. Oh, this must be an employee ID card. Let me see. It says Chief Clerk on it. No. But we're looking for one that's Chief Director or higher, yes? This one should be okay for now. At the very least, it'll help us get to some new places. Yes, we can now enter areas restricted to those of Chief Clerk rank or higher now. Time for a shift change. Time for a shift change. Everyone, move stations. Continue working until you die. <laughs> what in the world? Wait, what? Shifts? Hmm, it's said to move stations. Perhaps the rooms we have already entered will have different robots. You got it. We should go check that out. Oh, and don't forget to look for places we can get into with that new fancy employee ID card. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the right. Because I haven't been there yet. Here we go. Let's test out our new ID card. If you say access denied, I swear. I swear to Buddha. So yes, it opened. We might end up getting a chief director ID eventually if we keep getting higher and higher ranks. Yes. Agreed. Let's go about this one step at a time. Oh, and if you're feeling tired, be sure to stop in at a safe room, Joker. That's actually a great idea. I think I'm going to go find a safe room, and then I'm going to head out of here, and then we'll take care of some social links. You know what, guys? I was going to go back, but I think I'm so far ahead that I can actually try to get the higher ups ID because I'm around here. So let's listen in on these guys and see what kind of info we can learn. Got to be very sneaky sneaky. The section chief always says this is for what? This is for your own good. It drives me mad. Okay, this is for your own good. That's one. That's nothing. I don't even need to read that one. Okay, stop talking. Don't care. Don't care. I only care about the red stuff. He's so cocky, but he barely does any work himself. Okay. I'm used to getting yelled at. Okay, so getting yelled at and what? Where's the other guy with the red? Getting yelled at and something about... This is for your own good and getting yelled at, okay? This is for your own good getting yelled at. Remember that, guys, okay? Because I need you to tell me later. Hey, who are you? You can't be wandering here unattended. Sorry, no need to get so angry. Shut your trap! <laughs> no need to get so angry. Let's apologize like we're a worker. Are you truly apologetic, though? I don't mean to lecture you, but this is for your own good. Okay, that's one signal. That's one clue. I'm not sure what business you have here, but you can't just come into... Wait... Just who are you all anyway? What exactly are you looking for in a place like this? The Chief Director, Okumura, the Treasure. Looking for the Chief Director, baby. Hmm? 
And what business do you children have with him? He is a very busy man. I don't intend on sparing time to chat with the likes of you once I become chief director either. Either way, such private talks are forbidden in this office. It is time you stop talking. Hey. Wait, I don't know. This guy is kind of giving me mixed signals. Let's leave real quick nice. because I know where the other guy is. Um, I think he is down this hall. Like, he said something about this is for your own good, so that's one clue. But let's talk with this guy and see if he says anything else. Hey, what is with all the ruckus? Where do you think you are right now? Sorry. Are you seriously apologizing to me? Okay, let's see. We're looking for the chief director. The chief director, you say? Why would people like you be looking for someone like him? You make no sense whatsoever. I feel foolish for ever taking you seriously. Um... Uh, I think it's the other guy. So let's go back to the other guy and let's whoop that ass. Okay, it's got to be this guy right here because he said this is for your own good. And that's what the employees were saying. Hopefully I'm right. All right, let's try my fray again. Damn, that's not going to work. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy crap. I'm going to die. Come on, be weak to something, please. Famine's breath. Ugh. Um, I don't know what to do. Mopsio, please. Weak, weak. Shit. What am I going to do? Okay, I got to heal. I got to be the healer. Wait, they're weak against wind. Hold on. Let's do this. Get them all knocked down. There you go. Oh, everybody gets knocked down. Sweet. Okay, um, I don't really have anything else. What are you going to do? Triple down? Holy crap, I died. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this again. This time I have Morgana and Ryuji instead of Haru and Yusuke. I think that's a better party for me to have. So, let's go with... Let's go with Mafrey. Let's chip away. And Magaru is the one that hits them all. Oh my goodness gracious. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. How come they get to attack me first? All right, let's go, man. Get wrecked, you fucking noob. Whoop that ass. Can't believe they took out most of my health. You gotta be kidding me. Whew, nice. I'm in breath this shit again. All right, let's go. Let me do a Magaru again. And that should seal the deal, baby. Take this. Mm. Let's do this. Fuck this guy. You don't know how long it took me to get back to this point. I didn't save, so it took me a while. Uh, let's go with Assault Dive. Yes. Bitch. One more time for the homie DJ Screw. We got the three amigos. I forgot Morgana got that famine breath. Yes. Okay, so we got the chief director's key card. Now we're going to see what's behind that door. And then we're going to go back to the real world and develop some social links. Section chief ID. An employee ID. This one says it's for the section chief. Oh, so he wasn't the chief director dude either? Can we just fight the president already? A worker has no need to eat. A worker has no need to eat. Everyone, it is time to change shifts. Keep working even if it destroys you. Whoa! That dude big as fuck! Okay, that looks like the chief director. This is... Another shift change. Yes. The employees must be getting switched out just like before. Why don't we check the place accessible via the section chief ID card? Alright, this must be it right here. Give me that access granted. Come on now. You know you want to. Give it to me. Give it to me good. Yeah! So Great! This one is open as well. We've got to be close to the end, right? Chief Director is usually directly above Section Chief. Don't forget to be conscious of your condition, everyone. If you're feeling tired, be sure to rest at a safe room. I know, I can't find a safe room, though. I'm actually trying to get out of here. Oh, shit. Um, okay, I'm not going to look for a safe room. Let me actually just use my Go Home. I forgot I had those. And then we can continue with our social links. There you go. Let's go home, baby. Ah, you're back. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. I truly apologize for what has happened in this case. So formal. 
She seems to be a particularly conscientious person. It kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance between us, though. We're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't really pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. Do you mean me? Sorry, I think my fingers typed that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great. I hope we get to be the bestest of friends, Mako-chan. Uh, sorry about that. I sort of got carried away. Okay, so when we go into the palace, usually at nighttime, we get super tired and we can't do anything else. But one of the perks of maximizing Kawakami Social Link is that she can come over and give us a massage. So I'm going to call her right now, and we're going to request a massage. No oh, harm right. in that, right? Oh, would it be all right if I go in my maid outfit? I actually prefer that. I did quit the maid job, but people can't find out a teacher is seeing her student for personal reasons. I can't get found out, you know. I hope you don't mind me dressing like this when I come help you. Sure. I don't mind if you wear a maid outfit. I don't care what kind of outfit you wear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How is this woman so strong? It feels like my body is being kneaded with iron rods. Master. So, what do you think about the amount of force I'm using, Master? It's perfect. Take it down a notch. I don't feel anything. It's perfect. Right? I'm a professional at this after all. Jeez. Huh, your body is pretty fit. What the heck do you do to get it like this? Well. So, do you feel a bit lighter now? My body really does feel lighter. Any fatigue I felt earlier is all gone. Oh. oh, it looks like that was pretty effective. Oh, since you're refreshed now, you can probably do something else before the night ends. Alright, I'm heading home. Don't overwork yourself, okay? That is so awesome! What a great perk! I feel like if you play this game, you're gonna need that. Because you're gonna need all the time you need to do stuff at day and night. You can't just like sacrifice your night if you go in the palace. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nice. It's pretty healthy for now. Okay, plant the thief. We always take care of you. And now we can go downstairs. That is so awesome. I love that so much. Uh, where are we gonna go? Sajiro? Let me see if I can increase my bond. Right I don't think my bond will deepen. Well, hell no then. Next time. Then. Let's go to. Ooh. Oh wait, actually I know where to go. You guys were telling me that there's a social link in um, where is it? Where is it? Shinjuku, I think. Red Light District. It's inside of the bar that I went to. For the journalist lady? I think that's a social link that I don't have yet, so we're gonna do that right now. Wait, let's talk to these dudes. Just give it up. The era of Akechi-kun is over. Shut up, you chunky, hunky cake of beef. Just you watch. I'll reveal the Phantom Thieves as the monsters they really are. What are you talking about? When you get angry, you're more of a monster than they are. I actually like that heart jacket. Where can I get me one of those? And we can't develop our social link with her. So, let's see here. The Crossroads Bar, right? It's over here. Okay. Let's see if we can get a new social link. You're here again, boy? Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? Actually, wait. I want to give him a deep voice. A deep, raspy voice. Let's talk to Oya. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's my glass? Didn't I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Uh, who cares? Wait, I care. Mm. She's so drunk that she hasn't even noticed you're here. If we have her write articles, it'll have an effect on the metaverse. We might be able to use her if we do it right. Should we try forming a deal with Oya? Yes. Now then. Keep in mind that she's drunk. Now, do a good job negotiating, okay? Okay. Negotiating is my middle name, guys. We got this. Hey, Lalachan. Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Hey, girl. Please, have a seat. Yeah, I want my voice to sound like that. Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? Ugh, I don't know about that. That too. No, not that. I have Phantom Thieves news. You know what? Let's say that too. I want to see what she says. That too? 
So then, you do have news on the Phantom Thieves? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Okay, Lala is staring at me a little too hard. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Child? Oh, I'm a don't man, be such baby. a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Mm. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Nothing really. I'll let you know later. Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kanashiro, right? Well, he got arrested soon after. So don't think that I can't put two and two together. Something's fishy. I support them. The bad guys are bad. Nothing fishy here. I support them. Support the Phantom Thieves? Hell yeah. But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves. And I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. Okay. Sounds you know, like a good deal. The Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? Deal. Sounds great. Write something good. I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. Alright then. It's a deal. I can Sweet. create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves. So be sure to give me some good scoops. I've made a deal with Oya. All right. Man, this makes me think, how many social links out there haven't I discovered yet? There's so many, because I forgot how many different types of Arcanas there are, and I don't know if I have a social link with each one. So, I gotta see what I'm missing. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? Well, I have to say, you're damn right. I did have an inside man. Inside woman. Okay. We know about this. We've heard this a million times before. This is the devil. Damn, Oya is the devil. Rumor filled scoop. Lessen security level increases and decreases security level more overnight. All right. Okay, I think I get that one. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. I was able to pique Oya's interest. I feel like my charm has increased. Yes! Gotta increase that charm. Come on, rank up. Oh, Level 4, though. Can't deny the skills, though. Wait, Ryuji texted me and he said, Yamauchi said he's gonna go drinking at the Monja restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate undercover, right? Uh, sure. All right, I'll be counting on you. Guess we're going drinking. At Tsukishima, a waterfront district surrounded by canals famous for its monjayaki. Right. Man, I am butchering these Japanese words. Holy crap. 
I'm butchering more words than a Japanese sushi chef butchers fish for... Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. The teacher who's with him has shit on me, too. Sorry, but I'm gonna be hiding in the bathroom. Please, Z. Just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Wow, you can really hold your liquor, Yamauchi. Mmm, I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we rent a yacht for the weekend and have massive parties. Whoa, cool guy here. I must say, though, the sake's been tasting particularly sweet lately. Sweet like your mama. No surprise there. Things have been much calmer without Kamashita. Those were some real dark times for Shujin, though, huh? But now that he's gone, you finally get the chance you deserve, Yamauchi. Don't flatter me. <laughs> he had his strength, sure. But because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. There has to be a way to bring Shujin back into the limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? The students who went through so much hardship under Kamashita rise again with a caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Despite my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with the students. I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all the praise for reviving them will go to me, their incredible, loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off, though. So you're gonna pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legwork? Amazing, Yamauchi! Such stunning achievements will look great when it's time to hand out bonuses. But I'm not gonna stop there either. I'll publish books, give motivational speeches. What about all the troublemakers on the team? I've heard that Nakaoka kid is especially bad. Nakaoka? Oh, you mean the one who asked to bring the pre-Kamashita coach back? Don't worry, I've already taken care of him. What, did he kill him? There's this other boy on the team, Takeshi. Doesn't really excel in much of anything. Well, I said I would make him the new captain if he could get rid of that troublemaker, Nakaoka. I might have mentioned something about how Nakaoka was working with Kamashita too. Suddenly, of course. And what ended up happening? Apparently, Takeshi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly. And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the PTA. I see. He'd make a great pawn. Perhaps. But a nothing like him could never captain a successful championship winning team. He may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day. Wow, that's messed up. But until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. Hey, <laughs> you're incredible! Damn that's effing asshole! If we don't do something quick, Yamauchi's gonna get rid of Takeshi too. God damn it! Should we change his hearts? Yeah. I really wanna, but that'd probably just mess up the track team's comeback. I don't want to cause them more problems. So, they're just gonna have to decide on their own. Hey. You know, tracking a team sport, at least sprinting wasn't. You've got teammates, sure, but you're really just looking out for your own time. That's why I never thought about asking people for help or trying to solve our problems together. Then again. But, I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our own goals and shit, we were still running together. They suffered with me, gritted their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them I was able to run at all. So I can't just go and turn my back on them now, right? I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how I feel. I think it's cool, Ryuji. Huh? Yeah. For real? Thanks, man. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. All right, let's roll it up and... Hey, yes! Rank seven. Insta-kill. Chance to instantly win a battle after a successful ambush. Insta-kill? Right. What is this, zombies? Wait. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's eat some monja while we're here. Right now, all I've seen from this place is a goddamn toilet. What's, <laughs> is it monja or monya? Thanks for hanging with me, man. Well, it has to be monja because Japanese, they pronounce the J. Spanish, though, they pronounce the J as a Y, so it would be Monya in Spanish and Monja in Japanese, right? Yeah, I think so. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? Be my bae, be my bae. Hey, I've been thinking of going to the electronics store in Akihabara tomorrow. Are you into that stuff, Z? Oh, right. You probably need all sorts of tools like that for your Phantom Thieves work. Well, how about it? It'll be the perfect way to spend the day off. Not really. Uh, let's respawn later. 
He's in the bottom of the totem pole of like people I want to respond to. I really want to hang out with the ladies because Z is all about the ladies. And plus Ryuji, his social link's almost done. We got three more. So we might as well try to max that out as soon as possible. And we can't forget about Yusuke. But most importantly, like I said, guys, the ladies. So let's see. We got the little kid and Yusuke. Uh, huh. Okay, let me actually try going in front of the school. Let me see if I can hang out with my other social links. Please? Come on, man. Do this for me. Ooh, I see Makoto over there. All right. Come on, sprint to Makoto Z. Hurry. Let's see if we can deepen the bond. Apparently, Aiko has started dating a host from a club near her work. I guess he um hit on her one day after her shift, and that was that. Since then, he's the only thing she'll talk about. She even sent me a picture of their date at Destiny Land. Are you jealous of them? That's annoying. He sounds suspicious. Are you a little bit jelly? It's not a problem as long as she's happy. But knowing the line of work her boyfriend is in, I'm worried that he might be deceiving her. For now, it seems he hasn't forced her to spend any money at his club, but I'm still nervous. Beyond that, he calls her his princess and constantly tells her how special she is. It makes me sick to my stomach. Maybe he's just a nice guy. But Aiko refuses to listen to me. She said the idea that all hosts are bad people is outdated. She even said she was shocked to be getting advice from someone who would totally flunk a test about love. Huh. Tests about love aren't a thing, though. And even if they were, I most certainly wouldn't flunk them. Sorry about that. I'm probably just being biased towards him. I mean, I don't have any proof that he's untrustworthy. But that's why I want to meet him and find out for myself what kind of person he really is. And, if it's not too much to ask, I'd like you to accompany me on this excursion as well. What? This time, um, you'll have to play the role of my boyfriend. I got this. Why do I have to do it? Only if I can take it seriously. Oh, yeah. Hmm? How do you mean? Oh, I see. You're seriously worried about Aiko, too. Yeah. That's why. That's very kind of you. No problem. I think if I have a boyfriend, Aiko might be more inclined to listen to me. Actually... To tell you the truth, I actually already made plans with her and her boyfriend for a double date. Sorry. But it's just going to be at a diner. Nothing particularly fancy, I promise. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're a tremendous help. I'm so glad you agreed to this. I don't know who else I'd have to ask if you had said no. I can sense Makoto's trust in me. Oh, we can't go on the date right now? Oh, that would be so awesome. We got to see that in All today's right. episode. We got to. I'm not ending this episode until we go on that date. That pretend date. Aiko, I hope she's not getting herself wrapped up in anything dangerous. But just in case, I'll try looking for some info on that host. All right, then. Well, see you later. Ah, Catchy. Back. What's this asshat doing over here? There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us? Damn, I'm glad we're famous! But it's highly probable they'll become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more instigating comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Well, let me talk to Akechi. That's what I'll keep in mind. Ah, oh, sorry to intrude. I simply happened to be passing by and had an urge to drink a cup of fine coffee here. Thanks for your patronage. I should be thanking you. This is one of the few places I can actually relax. My apologies. I'm sure it must be closing time soon. I will be on my way soon enough. Man, I bet you one day we're going to be walking upstairs in our room and he's going to be sleeping in our bed. This dude's getting way too comfortable. Availability today, shop's open. You know what? Let's hang out with Hafumi. Oh, who's texting me? Who texted us, bae? You have tomorrow off, right? I'm going to be on standby at the hideout. So, since it's a day off, we got to play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes, so you can use it to let out your stress. It's a retro game called Power Intuition. Look forward to it. Time to make like a tree. We should get some sleep if Utaba's gonna be here during the day tomorrow. Oh, I don't have a choice? It's already set in stone that I'm gonna hang out with Futaba? I wanna go on that pretend date with Makoto. 
I think that'll be super fun. But whatever. If Utaba wants to come over and play some video games, then I'm not gonna deny her that request to play some video games, because Lord knows I love some video games. Hey. Hey Z, Utaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Let me check Phantom Thief. Nice. Healthy all day, every day. Who else is texting me? Ah, uh, it's the fellas. Nah, I'd rather hang out with Futaba. Where you at, girl? There you are. Yo. Yo, I'm gonna hang around here today, so I brought a pretty ancient game to kill time. I mean, you're the only one I know with an old game system. Anyway, it's called Power Intuition. Do you have the courage to meet me in a test of metal? Let's do it. We're gonna improve our guts. Hey, hey. Let's go. Here it goes. I'm so pumped. I should try my best. Huh? A block into low punch combo? Was that intentional? Dang, you're good. Come on, it's the final round. Let's do it. This is the moment of truth. Use the directional buttons to match the arrows displayed on the screen within the designated time limit. Then press the X button to finish. Okay. Uh, up. Up, down, fuck! I'm so slow. Really? I only get one chance? All done. You lose. Wanna try again? <laughs> Bring it. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Wait, I wanna do it again! Ah, oh, come on! Really? I didn't get a fair chance. I was using this instead of this. That was fun. Games are the best form of entertainment. Hey, oh, hey. I thirst. Give me some coffee, Z. Should I spend more time with Futaba? Yeah. Futaba's a really? cool chick. You mean it? Hurry, hurry. I can't wait any longer. I should let Sajiro know. Let him know what? Yep, yep. Hey, barista. The look suits you. Futaba's gaze is intense. She seems to have high expectations. Do it exactly as I was taught. Put some love into it. Oh, yeah. I gotta put some love. <gasps> Such skills! When did you level up? <laughs> oh god. It's so strong, I'm shocked! Damn, we got bitter coffee. Not bad. This is what adults like to drink, right? So one day, I'll think it's delicious too? Nah. I'm grown and I don't really like bitter coffee like that. We drank coffee and enjoyed a leisurely conversation. Okay, guys, I'm going to skip ahead. Whoa, look at the time. See you tomorrow. I'm going to skip ahead, and I want to try to deepen that bond once again with Makoto because I think that part of the social link is going to be fun. So let's do it. Okay, I'm actually going to hang out with On. I'm trying to hang out with Makoto, but the bond just won't deepen. And I've also taken off my contact lens because I've actually been recording for over two hours. So my eyes were starting to burn. But anyway, back to the game. <sighs> Looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. I have the worst luck. Oh, an email. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they could want. Huh? Mika? At the Sky Tower? Where's that? Um. They want me to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently, she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. It's a trap! It's a trap, boss! It's a trap! Oh, then I should say no? Oh no, but I already agreed. Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head over. Hey. Have you been to the Sky Tower before? How do you get there? Let's go! Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you. You're going, come on! Sky Tower, you say? Asakusa! A merchant town by Sensoji Temple. Famous for the Kami Ramon Gate? All right. Kami Ramon Gate? What is that? <sighs> All right, we made it. Wait, where's Mika? Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognize you. Mm -hmm. Did you lose weight? Or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of woman. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? what do you mean? Controlling what you eat, how you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat, making sure to check the nutritional and caloric content. 
I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Wow. Whoa, that's amazing! Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? Of course I don't! I get fat with just one butt of that stuff! Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga. Day after day, how many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh! A natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling! <laughs> you know, it's kinda embarrassing getting complimented like that. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. Ooh, shots what fired! Did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? Eek, Hun Senpai, stop it! You're scaring me! Mika-chan, are you okay? Man, cat fights are scary! Grrr. This way, Mika-chan. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm looking for. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful! I see now. This is a test. Yes! Well, I'm not gonna lose. Oh yeah, get it, girl! <laughs> Tee-hee! Um, Anchan, could you try being a little sexier? You mean like this? Oh, that's beautiful! Wait. Mika, why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me! You should have known that was a lie, but I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Wait, those camera guys don't hear that? Oh, you're amazing, Mika-chan! Oh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm! The owner even invited me to dinner! You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy! Um... Um... I'm heading home. We've arrived back in Shibuya. Aww. Why did Mika ask for me? So she could show you up? I see. Then she was just trying to be mean. <sighs> if that's the case, I probably deserve everything she did. Cheer up. Please don't cry. Uh, they both sound good. Cheer up, On. I'm... I'm so pissed off! Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level than me! Mika is amazing. Mika is... Mika is strong! But me? I'm nothing! Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode. The whole time, I've just been pretending to model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear, casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. You already are one. Go get him, Tiger! What about your action movies? You already are one. A great one. No, I'm not even close. But that just means I have room to grow. Yes. I'm gonna take the world by storm! Just you watch, Z! I sense a heightened motivation from On. Whew! Man, I've talked a lot this episode. My mouth's kinda tired. Rank 7, Sexy Technique. Chance to seduce the enemy during negotiation and steer discussion. Alright. Rank 7 already? Cool. Ugh, I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets, but no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me, see? Yes, ma'am. Wait, it says, I think my charm needs to be at at least debonair if I want Aiko to accept me? What? I can't hang out with her unless I have higher charm? You gotta be kidding me. 
Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I've been recording for over two hours. The reason being is because I tried so hard to level up in the palace, in Okumura's palace. So that took up a lot of time. I did some social links in this episode. I really wanted to do the double date with Makoto, but I guess I need that debonair charm, so I'm going to try to get that in the next episode. If you guys want to see that as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!